Okay, so I'm back and ready for yet another installment of sourdough starter. Um, this jar is getting pretty crusty, but it sat over the weekend and there's lots of bubbles. So I'm going to, I have one cup of filtered water in a new jar and I have my flour here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour half of this off into an empty bowl. Then I'm going to pour the other half into the new jar, then add the flour and hopefully it won't be as dirty and crusty. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if this is going to work. I'm really hoping it does. I think it's overripe. Yes, that's the way it looks. It smells like vinegar. That's disgusting. Like there's like a chunk of something and it smells awful. So maybe I've let it go too far again. I don't know. If I have to restart, I guess I do, but I'm trying to save it because I really, really want to be independent. I want to do this and I want it to work. And I feel like it'll be more satisfying if I can get it to work from scratch and not with some starter from someone else. And while I appreciate people offering me their starter, I really truly want this to be by myself. Hi, Maggie. Make, make, make. Hey. off because there's some chunks of flour that aren't broken up very well. And then I think what I'm going to start doing instead of trying to use the edge of my stir to scrape down the sides, I'm going to get a spatula and try and make it cleaner because then maybe it won't get so gross on the inside. And again, for those of you that have done sourdough starter, if you have any tips or recommendations or anything, please let me know. Okay, let's get this wiped and scraped down. That's better. So then for the rim that I can't get to, I will get a clean dish rag. Okay, so let's wipe this down. And I'm wondering, actually, I had a thought over the weekend. I wonder about the temperature of my house. Does it need more warm um, temperatures, ambient temperatures, or does it need cooler temperatures or what? So. I don't know, more research and reading, but there it is. I need another coffee filter now. Okay, so let's put this on. Get this one around. Hopefully it won't stick to the rim of the jar anymore. Ooh, that's crooked. 
to put that in. And my other elastic to show where the level is. And there we are. So, <laughs> wish me luck. Okay, so I'm back and hope you all had a good Easter weekend. I know it was good for us. It was busy. We had a couple meals to go to. Um, but my task for today is to get all the extra meat off the turkey bones and some of the other, like the wing and the drumstick, since no one really cares to eat that as is. So I'll pull it off the bone and then put it probably back in the bag and boil the rest of what's left for some broth and figure out what to do with that for supper. every bit of meat because my hours got cut and yeah so there's less money coming in doing my best and everything will always work out god make sure of it but i just also want to be a wise steward of all the resources that are in my home so i pick meat off the bone instead of throwing it out guys want to in the comments let me know what you guys do to save money on food and groceries because it is getting ridiculous and I know it probably sounds like a broken record talking about the price of things and inflation and everything but it is really getting hard to make ends meet again I'm not worried because God always provides for us but what are some things that you do to ensure that your family has what they need and that your bills are paid, things like that. We don't have a new car, far from it, quite actually. Um, we rarely buy things on credit. We're actually almost all the way paid off and out of credit card debt. Um, let's 
we got rid of one subscription and quite possibly we'll get rid of another, like for streaming services and that. Turn the lights off in every room. We turn the pilot off to the gas fireplace since it's nice enough out now that um, we won't need the heat. That whole big piece is just going to get boiled. We eat leftovers, we don't throw them out. And we don't take overly long showers, not that that's ever been an issue, but. hand-me-downs or thrifted clothes and if we have to buy new we don't shop at fancy places for a long time to tell you. Another thing we do is I try to consolidate trips when we're driving anywhere. Um, much to my children's dismay sometimes. They don't like it. Having to get picked up, not at the time they decide, because they like to be with their friends and spend as much time as possible. But if I'm going out for something, I'm going to save the gas money and make one round trip and, well, they come home and I tell them sometimes. Sometimes they can stay out until curfew, but sometimes I have to come in a little early because it's more convenient for mom and dad. And they don't always like it, but it is what it is. Okay, so I'm going to put that in a pot and get it boiling. scraps are getting dumped into a bowl, a pot. And I'm going to simmer it.
ran out of space to record, but I took a few snapshots of all the bones and everything simmering down, and then I put all the meat into the container. That's everything for today.